All right, what's going on you guys? Nick here with Nick's on the Power. So in this video, I wanna talk about an Indian bodybuilder who is probably one of my most requested bodybuilders that I have yet to do a video on. Um, obviously, there's a massive Indian fan base for bodybuilding. Obviously, India being one of the biggest countries in the world, having a population of over 1.2 billion people. Obviously, a ton of those people are watching my videos as well. So this is a bodybuilder by the name of Premchand Dagra or Premchand Degra. His name actually has two different spellings, so I'm sure I'm actually butchering the pronunciation, but uh, Premchand Dagra is actually a guy that I did not know of before I got these requests. So this is a guy that you guys actually stumped me with. I had actually never heard of him, but he is in fact one of the most famous Indian bodybuilders of all time and one of the most accomplished Indian bodybuilders of all time. In fact, he was the first Indian bodybuilder to ever step foot on the professional Olympia stage. Obviously, there is a uh, amateur Olympia that I believe is actually held in uh, India. So I was getting very intrigued by the number of comments that I got suggesting this guy for a video. So I started doing some research on him and he actually has a very impressive physique. Um, so when I looked him up, one of the first pictures I came across was his front double bicep where he's hitting a vacuum in that shot and his bicep peaks look pretty incredible. So right off the bat, he's a very aesthetic bodybuilder. He had one of those very classic old school physiques. Um, the front double with a vacuum is probably one of my favorite shots and he pulls it off very, very well. Um, also in his lat spread, his front lat spread, he also hits that sort of half vacuum in that front lat spread, which I think is a very accomplished pose um, and very hard to pull off, especially these days. So his most noteworthy bodybuilding accomplishment would probably be winning the 1988 Mr. Universe competition. And again, as I mentioned before, he was the first Indian man to step foot on a pro Olympia stage. And that year would be 1989. That was actually the same year that he turned pro and he would play 16th at the 1989 Mr. Olympia. And for those of you who are curious, 1989 was the year Lee Haney won the Olympia. So as far as his bodybuilding stats go, Premchand was no mass monster by any stretch of the imagination. He only weighed 176.3 pounds, which is the equivalent of about 80 kilograms. And he was only five foot six inches tall. So he was a short bodybuilder and a relatively light bodybuilder. He was born in 1955, which would make him 62 years old today. So Premchan got his start in bodybuilding actually with a wrestling background. So he was a wrestler um, and he got on stage basically with a wrestler's physique. So immediately transitioned from wrestling to bodybuilding. His first competition was the Mr. Punjab and the Mr. North India. Um, and he won both of those shows just stepping on stage with a pure wrestler's physique and not really knowing how to train for bodybuilding. Um, so right off the bat, his potential um, in bodybuilding genetics were immediately recognized. In addition to his 1988 Mr. Universe win and his 1989 Mr. Olympia appearance, he also won nine consecutive Mr. India titles between 1981 and 1989. And he also won the Mr. Asia competition five consecutive times between 83 and 87. And to be clear, the Mr. Universe competition that he won was not the NABBA Mr. Universe, but it was in fact the IFBB Mr. Universe. And he was the first Indian ever to be titled Mr. Universe under that organization. And he is still the only Indian man to ever be titled Mr. Universe under the IFBB. So overall, I think Prem Chan was an amazing bodybuilder. I'm kind of ashamed that I had never heard of him until I got the suggestion for a video, um, but I'm really glad you guys suggested him. I'm really glad I got the opportunity to research him a little bit, make a video um, and educate some other people because he was in fact a very, very impressive bodybuilder, um, regardless of where he came from, India, uh, put that to the side. He was a great bodybuilder just in general um, for achieving the things that he did achieve. So thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.